think people in places like Washington State, California, to a certain extent Oregon, to a certain extent Colorado, Massachusetts, don't understand how far ahead of the curve you guys are and how important it is that you stay ahead, stay of, the ahead of the curve and keep pushing. And, um, you know, uh, we have to be able to point to you guys for success stories and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So actually, you know, following through with funding the green job stuff and right. not just authorizing it, not unwinding any of the solar stuff. I mean, there's a lot of uh -huh. stuff that we, we got all, the national strategies all contended on, on the leading states continue to lead. I think that's right. And so it's important you guys not, not back up. Great. Um, uh, you know, uh, we were all excited about 2815, uh -huh. but it would get passed with the, the money that come through for the job training. Right. That that was painful, and then right. um, and my only con my only concern about uh, Senator Rockefeller's uh, proposal, which is I think extraordinary in every way, is just that possible un uh, backing away from from solar and wind. Right. What I, do you think about that? Well, I hope that we don't do that. I I think. And it's a little tricky because the way we have a renewable portfolio standard here and the way that works and the way utilities work, so they have to go for the least cost, mm -hmm. so they go for wind specifically. And we really want to take that incentive that we currently have for wind and make it broader mm -hmm. for solar mm -hmm. and maybe also work on the regulatory side mm -hmm. so that there can be more investments across the spectrum of yeah. renewables. I think, so I think, I think, I think that's, that's, I think that's really good. There's this one section in the bill that VN was, was explaining to me, and I know Climate Solutions has concerns about it, I'd love to hear from you guys about it, where uh, there would be a, a serious backing away from, from solar and wind under the cover of supporting energy efficiency. Uh-huh. And uh, can you just say a little bit more about that? Sure, one? it's Section 3 of Senator Rockefeller's bill, uh -huh. 5649, um, that allows for investments towards weatherization to be counted as two renewable energy credits uh -huh. and counted not towards the conservation standard but towards a renewable standard. Mm -hmm. We, of course, want the weatherization of uh, particularly low-income mm -hmm. families' houses. Uh, but want that as part of the conservation standard rather than the renewable standards so they're not pitted against each other. Well, one of the things I was thinking about is a temporary um, increase of the incentive for weatherization as we get this off the ground over the next couple of years and then rolling it back. Because we really want to we really want to get the training and underway with enough demand for the weatherization and uh, so it's, I, th I think we can work in mm -hmm. a way that we can both get more of a kickoff of the, mm -hmm. of the energy efficiency side without backing off on the commitment to renewables. Yeah. I totally agree. We would absolutely love to see some incentive to incentivize weatherization as long as it counts towards the conservation standard instead right. of the renewable standard. I, I completely agree that we want to make sure that we stimulate the, the weatherization of homes. Um, you know, I, I, I read the the uh, labor market analysis that uh, Ellen Hardcastle had to write yesterday and released. And I know that's the largest uh, sector of green jobs right now. Um, I know that you guys are also growing the jobs in the wind and solar energy. Mm -hmm. And with 2815, it actually funds training programs for all green jobs, and not just energy efficiency. Right. And so the, the amount of investments that continue to be kind of put into solar and wind will have jobs that, create, that comes out of it, and, and the training programs for workers to go into it. Right, I think that's right. So I'm sure we'll be able to work all that out as we work the bills That's great. through the process. The training piece, we are actually, um, this is a little, we're looking at our, our, our unemployment insurance fund. Uh, we have the healthiest UI fund in the country right now. Um, and you didn't go with Madoff. Uh, <laughs> you didn't go with Madoff. No, it's like $4.4 .4 billion. Huh? And we're already working on some uh, enhanced UI benefits and with the business community on some rate cuts. But what we'd like to do is take a piece of that mm -hmm. and divert it, again, probably temporarily yeah. for two years, in, into yeah. the training piece. That's exciting. And so, because in this that's budget really cool. crisis, we don't have general fund money, of yeah, course. Yeah. Uh, so that is a fund that's, that's really out there. That's really creative. So that's the piece we're working on. It's uh, traditionally both business and labor looks at the unemployment insurance fund and says, you know, that's our fund. Oh, no. <laughs> and we use it for UI benefits, and mm -hmm. we have to pay taxes to support it, so don't divert it. Mm -hmm. But we have a history here when we went through the whole crisis with Timber mm -hmm. and the Spotted Owl right. of coming together around retraining those workers, mm -hmm. those Timber workers, for new jobs mm -hmm. using UI right. we did temporarily. Yes. Right. 
And so we're looking at another similar thing where we right. would temporarily divert I think it's really smart. for training in this in okay, this yeah. area. And it'd be really great to see some of that money go into the 2815 Green Jobs Training Fund that was created last year that you were a huge supporter of and helped see through because that was a huge stakeholder process that really looked at industry and labor our communities, low-income communities, and really looked at the path that could be very, very effective in training right. folks to do what we need to do. We've got press coming to join us. Sen Senator Brown, can I also add that? I, I love that idea of what the UI funds investing. Um, I'd suggest California has a Green Wave program that was spearheaded by a uh, treasurer at the time, Vangelides, and that program actually diverted the um, the the statewide uh, retirement funds mm -hmm. into... Oh, that would be hard to do here. <laughs> into well, 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 well I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, at them not using the same amount, same funds, but using right. them as a model and what lessons they learned well, and using them. We can take a look at that, but I'm on the state investment board, and actually our director of our state investment funds is now going to California. So, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> interesting. Oh, <Ms>. <laughs> okay. that, that but uh, we can take a look at it, but our, our the way our fund works is different than some other states. States. It separates out the investment side from the contribution side, so it might be difficult, but it's certainly something to look at. I guess the main point is to be creative about figuring out, even in a time of budget crisis, how you can figure, well, how you get these resources going. That's really exciting, and, and uh, uh, Phil Angelita's uh, Green Wave uh, initiative, it also, uh, it tried to get the pension dollars Investing in the right companies too. Right. I think I think that's that's the other other side trying to figure right. out how to get, get, the, get the training side for the workers, but also to get some of the capital and investment mm -hmm. side for the entrepreneurs, because at the end of the day, we're talking about work, wealth, mm -hmm. and health being the main benefits from a green a green economy. I think we've always talked about the green economy as something that would be uh, hurting the economic uh, pocketbook for people. But the, the more we look at it, the more it's, it's pretty obvious you're going to get more jobs. You'll have more entrepreneurial opportunities and better health for people, and that's what most people care about: is you know their own work, their own wealth, their own health. So, uh, uh, I'd love to get you some of the information from from, that, from Green Wave. That'd be great. That, that's where we got the line. We want the Green Wave to lift all boats. That's where we got nice. that in California. I like that. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. yeah. Well, and we actually do have a piece of our pension that's devoted to in-state initiatives, uh, sort of venture capital mm -hmm. type initiatives, and. What we envision with the, I don't know if you heard about the energy collaborative, that's another bill. Mm -hmm. But that bill is to create an economic development strategy around um, clean green energy. That's great. Well, well, so, so, we, so we have a package of bills. pretty extraordinary. So, so can you just tell me what, what's in the back? Okay, so the, num so the, the centerpiece mm -hmm. is the energy efficiency green jobs mm -hmm. bill that, yep. that, that you already are aware of. Mm -hmm. Another piece of it is the, the energy collaborative. Mm -hmm. And the idea of that is to utilize uh, public and private resources to talk about an economic development strategy for the state. So it brings in our research institutions like Battelle oh, that's good. and private companies that are that kind of know where the barriers are, mm -hmm. and uh, then some, the public resources, bringing them together to give us some guidance about strategically, because there, you know, there's a lot of ideas out there. There's yeah. a million different kinds of green incentives and really great ideas, solar ideas, electric car ideas, mm -hmm. biofuel down the road. So, but to give us, since it's hard for us to pick and choose between them, to give some kind of a filtering process and a strategic development for where Washington could really start to build um, a comparative advantage yeah. and, and the workforce piece of that. That's right. So we That's also great. understand that in terms of... We'd like to steal, steal that, bill, that bill and try to move it around some other places. That would be great. And that's and that's what you do best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just taking the ideas exactly. all around. And, uh, exactly. Yeah. L l l little honey bee trying to follow, <laughs> take, take the, right. the pollen from here and put He's the pollen He's Johnny in. Appleseed exactly. for the green. Exactly. For the green. Well, that's, that's, that's really good.